Hi fiends, this is Susie, your gaming guru. I just sent out gifts to everyone I could, so now it's time to play level 74 for the Frozen Hills Tour and the Bandit Slug Catching Event. Uh, and this one I think I'll actually be able to finish today. So, let's see. In Mystic Dunes, I need to defeat eight slugs and open four crates, and the crates always do me in. How in the world do I not have energy? I haven't played in hours. Hmm. Um, I think I probably just need to refresh. All right, so let's see. I need to figure out if I need to upgrade anyone or change anyone. And let's take a look. Everybody is bombs, which is good. There was someone I wanted to upgrade who costs a lot, and I can't remember who it was. Let's check something out here. Was it Quincy? No, he's only seven. I thought I was going to evolve someone. Oh, well, I'll do that off screen sometime, probably. All right, so here we go. We are going to keep these fiends and figure out these chests. We've got permeable barriers, so I can work on that. Now let's take a look at how to defeat these slugs. They are black. They're unaffiliated in color. That would get me 2320, plus it would open up quite a bit. But this here could get me more. Oh, and look at that. I have a black bomb on the board. And it opens up quite a bit. 38, 28. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this. And maybe I'll keep targeting the green because it's plentiful and because I'd like a bomb quickly. Although getting through here... Oh, look at that. I got my bomb. Getting through here is super important. But if I can bring a bomb downward, then I can set this off and it would really open things. There we go. Look at this. How beautiful is this? Okay, so I've opened a lot already, and then I do this, and that's going to collect even more green, plus all of the other colors. So I'm going to have a good job, all except blue. Uh, so I'm going to have a pretty good job of getting through things and getting more stuff done and defeating more slugs. There we go with a bomb. I think I'll try to take out red because it's next to this crate, and these crates are fairly easy this time around. It takes out that slug entirely, and it hits the crate. Now look what we've got going. Bombs are so handy. Look at how many points we get for that. But I am going to check out a few other things here. What if I grab all these yellow? Oops, hello. Yeah, I like that one. I know I'm kind of sliding the bomb out of place, but maybe I can put it between the two crates and use it that way. That'd be kind of fun and exciting. Or I could just take this yellow one right now. That would get rid of that slug and one crate. So that's 5720. If I do something like this, I get rid of that crate, but I don't take out the slug. If I do this, I take out, and I should say just a layer of the crate. I'll do that. It takes out another layer of the crate. It gives me another bomb. And I still can't get the bombs over there. That's disappointing. <laughs> I would think I could by now. Nope, can't. Can't do it. All right, I think I'll swing around this way. Oh, no, look at that. The slug behind there is red. So I probably want to try holding on to red as much as I can in order to make a bigger impact. Let me take out the yellow. I know it's not spectacular, uh, but I'll be able to get some spectacular moves here soon. Oh, the, the purple bomb isn't perfect, but it's going to be just like hitting the crate because I'm making a move next to the crate. And it takes that guy out, so now I'm to the red slug. And now I've got so much red on the board. Unfortunately, I can't quite reach all of it. But let's see how I can reach most of it. Let me start over here, swing around. Uh, I think don't see how to get that tendril there and still kind of reach over to here. And look at that. That takes him out completely and opens that crate more. 
and I still can't set these off right where I need them. But I'm going to do this. Watch this. This will be fun. So we get that. And now it doesn't matter where I put the bombs. Because oh, I need to get at least uh, 680 metal so that I can get an extra 100 for beating the level. So that I can finish that game, that run of this special event. That doesn't quite get me everything I need. Wait, how much was it? 7,900? So about 8,000. I don't see a better run. Nothing I do here is going to be as impressive. Let's go ahead and take this. Oh, this is better. Reaches more. And then I've got... Hey, stop it. I've got this, which definitely takes care of it at about 5,000. And I don't think I can get a better score than that. No, that came close, though. It wasn't bad, but I'm going to go for the big score because I think it gets me bonus medals. Got three medals there. So these should get me medals. There we go. Finally, I've got to 680. And then for my 100 level completion bonus, I will have completed this run. Yay. And I get my keys. Oh, look at that. I already had four keys. And I'm on a winning streak so that if I do lose, I get extra moves. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and let the board open up the cages. It doesn't matter which ones are taken. They're still going to be wonderful. I love it. And then I will go to the Frozen Hills tour and claim... Oh, look at this. Um, so I get to claim my reward of six hours of VIP membership. The problem is it's relatively late at night, uh, and I don't want it. So I'm just going to close the application. And then hopefully for the next level, you'll see that... I have been able to claim it at a later time. My concern is if it starts running right now, I'm in trouble. But I'm just going to close the app after I uh, end the recording, and we'll see how that goes. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.